in um, your LinkedIn a few days ago, you shared the post, yeah. superpowers. Right. And you had five superpowers. Control emotions, yeah. self-awareness, being healthy, yeah. not being offended, consistency. Yeah. We already talked about a few of them. Yeah. So all of them are extremely important. All of them are part of that emotional intelligence thing, right. which is essential for any entrepreneur. Right. And I think sometimes, not sometimes, mostly, it's more important to be emotionally intelligent, yeah. even before being smart, risky, and blah, blah, blah. Because if you don't have that level of inner preparation with amazing idea, you cannot True. make it happen. Totally. You cannot totally. like go through this turbulent environment, I right. guess. Right. So you share these five superpowers. Yeah. First of all, why superpower? Do you think it's not something that the average human can have? And second of all, why do you share them now? Do you feel that this is a place you need to work on more? Yeah. Do you feel like now, the, like um, enhancing these skills would help you to go through something? Yeah. First of all, it's all about, I want to summarize it, it's more of self-awareness. Okay. Okay. That's what I believe uh, schools have to teach the kids, self-awareness. That's a key skill set anyone can have. Because you need to know what you are inside. If you're able to know what you are inside, yeah you will be at your 100% efficiency. Like if someone comes and hurts you, okay, you have that emotional control ability. Okay, for example, uh, 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 the Facebook CEO, uh, Shirley, Shirley, Shirley Sandberg, I, sorry, I forgot her first name, Sandberg, Miss, okay. Miss, Mrs. Sandberg, uh, her husband died. Okay, even that day was a CEO. She came to office second day, after two days. Why? Because she had that self-control. She accepted it and that's how I believe like people can be at their very high efficiency, need not to be successful, need not to be just for the professional life. People can live a pretty good, lead a pretty good life if they have that self-control, like self-control of their emotion. That's what I believe in. Uh, coming back to this particular point, uh, what I feel is that as humans, we tend to, for us, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. We don't value what we have. Okay. So when I say superpower, okay, people do not see the power what they have inside. They think that flying is a, like flying like a superman is a superpower. That's what they think. But which is not. So actual stuff is if you're able to walk, if you're able to do stuff. That's already a superpower. Exactly. Yeah. That itself is a superpower. You are being healthy. For example, other day I read a tweet. Uh, being healthy is one of the biggest competitive advantage. That's so true. When yeah. you're not healthy, healthy. you just... Exactly. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. So, so, so these are like my list on that superpower stuff can go up even bigger. It can become, become even more bigger. But as of now, these are the things what I've identified. So you have to value what you have. I recently broke my back. I couldn't walk, stand. Okay, I couldn't stand. And that particular day, I forgot everything. I forgot yeah. my dreams. I forgot yeah. the rest of the stuff. I was just walking on my back. Yeah. And at that particular time, I felt health is the stuff. You finally started to appreciate, appreciate. basic you have to. things that nobody exactly. talks about. See, yeah. see okay, we feel that th this problem is one of the biggest problems. We don't identify some of the much bigger problem out there. See, that's how people are. This is what my understanding is. I may be wrong. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> well, I totally agree that that yeah. totally makes sense to me and um, the sense of appreciation what we have. Right. Because we just don't notice it until we... Sure kind of lose it you know sure, only when sure. unfortunately when you get sick yeah. you understand the value of being healthy right so that's that's the unfortunate truth and that's a big effort and i guess it's actually a superpower to to value things that we have exactly. without losing them when you said about not being judged not being offended i guess that's one of the biggest thing thing for entrepreneurs for people who are afraid to start their business yeah. Because they are facing this fear of being judged. Because, well, th we can call this a fear of fail. But at the end of the day, it's not about just failing. It's about being judged. Right. So True. I think only like once you have this self-confidence, you cannot let it hurt you. Right. Do you, do you have experience in your like business with your startups when people did not believe, when you had to go against something, yeah. against society, against their opinion, 
and like kind of to protect your inner um, inner voice, your inner idea, and to use that self confidence in order not to let everything around you to let you down. Uh, yeah. See, I used to, I used to, but now. Uh, even before talking or even before telling about my business idea to anyone, mm -hmm. okay, first I see their background, who they are, okay, uh, and after that I try to explain it to them. Or sometimes you don't try? Pardon? Sometimes, sometimes it's possible that you even don't try? I, I don't explain okay. to everyone. Okay. Because so you select. I select. I select. I select and explain, okay, and even if they talk against them about it. Okay, I just give a time and I just think over it. That's it. So this is how I train my model, like as of now. Because people, those who do not have the experience, those who do not belong to the that yes. particular market segment, uh, I don't get feedback from them because it's not they being stupid or wrong. It's it's I'm being stupid <laughs> because I shouldn't be asking that question to that's them. So, that's so true. Yeah. <laughs> for you and do you consider yourself now as a this successful is, person yeah, this is a philosophical yeah, question I, again. this is a beautiful philosophical question <laughs> because i recently figured out this is what see again to the viewers okay hopefully uh, hopefully like more than my mom millions, and my dad yeah she'll get, she'll get millions <laughs> of views so uh, success for me like, let's also audience let's agree to disagree uh, so my point is that for me for me success is not there are categories. When you say success, for the society, success is uh, money-wise. They just see the monetary stuff. Nothing else. They, that guy can have money or that guy or girl, anyone can have, they, they may be rich, but they do not have that inner peace. Yes. I wouldn't call them as a successful. I used to think it's, it's all about being happy. No, it's about your emotions. You can be you happy. You can be happy all the time. You can be sad as well, and you have to consider it. Being sad is also an emotion. Okay, so you just have to consider it. You can be in pain. Okay, consider it. Okay. Accept it. So, Acceptance so and awareness. Exactly. Right? Awareness. Awareness. It's a very a right word. word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a it's a right word. Awareness. It's also about inner peace. So, yeah, these are the things. So okay. Controlled emotions. Do you consider yourself now? as successful in the way you understand this? I would say yes. Okay. I would say yes, but I want to call my, myself as a failure because I want to see even more failures. Okay. That's a that's a brave attitude. Yeah. So that's you are a tech savvy person for sure. Yeah. What apps are you using the most? Uh, it's majorly productivity and journaling. Uh, what I figured out, uh, like, was that I wanted to be more productive. Okay, and recently I found out a new tool uh, called uh, Sansama, which is so good. Like, it's a it's a combination of Trello plus Google Calendar. This tool helps you s sort out your tasks, like from calendar to here, here to calendar, many things. Yeah. Okay, so mostly it's about Productivity. Time, productivity. And also I use I used a habit tracker. Okay. Uh, because it's all about consistency. Yes. So I, I track my product habits like as simple as like drinking three glasses of water. Like I just had two glasses of water. Yes. So I just track it. Okay. So I track my daily habits being brushing twice. Simple. Simple stuff. Because these are the simple stuff, minute stuff, what I feel will define me. So you think that habits, even simple ones like drinking water, they yeah, set yeah. up your mind right. in the right way. Right. So I journal it. I'm okay. a checklist guy. So I journal even meditation. Yes, meditation. I journal uh, water, intaking water. I journal my workouts. You're conscious about doing your habits through this yeah. app. Right. Again, everything right. is about that. Yeah. And what about social media? You didn't mention like you are doing actually stuff yes. for influencer for social media. What about how, like, do you use social media a lot? Instagram, YouTube, Facebook? I use it, okay, but the thing is, it's tricky. Social media, I felt I, I was using pretty more. Uh, so what I did, I had an alternative mobile as well. 
So I moved my entire social media into that particular mobile. Mm -hmm. And in this mobile, I don't have one. That's wow, why that's I, so smart. Yeah, that's why when I wanted to show you the Facebook, I did not have Facebook. On that's that mobile. so smart. So you so, just don't take that second phone with you. No, you don't bring it. No. <laughs> I don't ring with me. Yeah. That's smart. Because when I go home, I just see the mobile, it is there, then I check oh all my God. So you actually uh, control it. So wow, perfect. that actually is like, deserves to be in a frame. I yeah. know, deserves to be everywhere. Okay, I love that. Yeah. It looks like we are living at the age of loneliness. Somehow, this time now, like according to the data and statistics, more people tend to describe themselves as like going through loneliness, right. like you know something. And AI and all these apps and chatbox somehow they replace real life communication. Yeah. Do you think this? Is yeah, this is, this is this is yeah this is this is this is the question. Do like, you think it threatens our ability to be socialized, our social skills? Uh, no, I I would say no because see. People are like people are people are people are people like uh, they even before mobile came in like everyone are telling now is that they show they put out like you must have seen the social media they put out two photos one where they just enjoy watching something previously like 10, 10 years ago even before the mobile came in they watch a show and they were everyone are talking with each other and on the next photo they show that everyone are looking at mobile. You must have seen on social media, yeah, right? Of course. That kind of photo. Yeah. But the thing is, that's how people projected it. I saw one more photo where people are sitting in a train, okay, and everyone are reading newspaper, okay. And the next side, everyone are looking into mobile. So it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. It's the same. When people like all this newspaper, they want to concentrate on negative stuff. They want to talk on negative stuff because they get pretty good TRP, that television rating. That's why they talk about only negative. I stop watching new news. I don't even watch news okay. at all. Why? Because they see only negative stuff. I feel like inferior after that. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. So when you feel inferior, when you feel fearful that society is going wrong, society was right, it is not, society is not going anywhere. It is, you started consuming wrong content. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I guess on this positive note, yeah. I wish you good luck in US. Thank you. Thank I you. wish you to scale your business Thank to you. make a uh, huge impact to bring value to the society, yeah. to see how this value impacts their life, right. to well, make steps to be more self-conscious, even more. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to be even more. <laughs> and uh, thank you a lot for uh, having this chat. And Same here. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for it. Yeah. I, I wish you'll get one million views. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. Yeah. Thank Minimum. you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>